What's going on y'all? So very quick tip video on how to make a radiator protector and your intake protectors. So I really wanna make this as simple as I can. It's not complicated at all. If you just follow these few little instructions, you'll have no problem. You'll have a nice radiator grill. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is obviously take off your hood and you're gonna take off your front bumper. I have how-to videos on both, how to take off your hood and take off your bumper. So once you've done that and taken those pieces off, then you're gonna come over here. And as you see, you see I got a couple tools here. You're gonna wanna make a mold of either the inside or the outside of the front bumper. I did the inside of the bumper, I thought it'd be the easiest. So, of course, you need to take your automotive mesh, which I found mine off of Amazon. It cost me $17.99. You can see what type I had. They have some cheaper ones uh, at Lowe's. I saw they were just horizontal lines. I like this, this type of design better than horizontal lines. I thought this was a little bit thicker too. By the way, this is bendable and it comes in a roll. But uh, they did have some for like $10. They had some for $8. They had some for like $5. So it just all depends on the material that you get. But this one cost me $17.99. I will put a link in the description below to the Amazon to where I got it from. Uh, and then basically once you get your mesh, you take your mold, you know. And then I had a white uh, paint pen and all I did was outline, you know, kind of did a rough outline. So once I did my rough outline, all I did was take some of these, which are uh, wire mesh cutters. Uh, you can find these anywhere, Amazon, Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. And all you got to do is cut. Cuts like butter, baby. You cut out your mold, your outline, and then all you do is insert it. Where so it's just imagine to. that the front bumper is off. You set your mold or your uh, you set your radiator protector on the inside. Let's say you did the inside. You set it on the inside, and then all you do is secure it with those zip ties. And that's all I did. Which I have a whole video on me installing the radiator and the intake grills. I have a video on both. Uh, they are separate videos, so you you know you don't have to sit through a long video. They're both very short. And they look really good for 17 bucks. I was able to do the radiator grill, air intake grill, and the transmission grill for about 17 bucks. So I hope this helps y'all out. This is a very simple project. Um, if you have any more questions about it, feel free to comment. Um, y'all know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know what's up. Rack of fam, tap in, stand up. Let's go.